Hey everyone, the Xerox guy here, and today I'm going to show you how to ping a specific server through a specific port for the purposes of troubleshooting scan to email using Telnet. Because you cannot do that through a certain port with regular ping. So, as an example, we bring up the command prompt and we want to see if we can connect to the smtp.gmail.com and we ping this we get a return but we don't know what port we're going through we want to ping it through 587 or 465 to make sure that we can actually connect through the port that the Xerox machine's trying to use so if we try to do that with regular ping it doesn't work There's no way to do it. So what we have to do is use telnet instead of ping. So if we use the command telnet and then the IP or the host name and then the port. Oh, look here. On Windows 10 it's not installed by default. So we have to go ahead and enable it before we can use it. That's easy to do bring up the search bar. If you don't have the search bar, you can right click here and go to search. Type in the word features and this here is where you want to go. This is also in the tide control panel. Did we pop up behind? Yes we did. We popped up behind. So this is what we're looking for here. And when we get this, we just scroll down, enable Telnet client, hit OK. Do 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 do. Good. Now if we try that again, that's what happens. So if you get a blank screen right here or some kind of response from the server that means you connected successfully had we had a bad connection I'll show you what would have happened so I'll just try some random port So obviously this is timing out. This is not going to work. So if you get a long response like this, you're timing out. Okay. If we wanted to try this again. Oops. We're just going to time out again. And then eventually we'll air out. So if you don't get a response right away, uh, which is just a blank open pop up window or possibly an open pop up window with a response from the server, then you're not able to connect through that port. And the, prop the connectivity problem isn't the printer, it's the firewall or antivirus whatever is blocking the outbound communication through the port that you're trying to connect through. If this helped you, please give me a like and comment below if you need any help. I'd be happy to help any way I can. Thanks, and this is the Xerox Guy.